वेलकम टू आर सीरीज द भगवत गीता फॉर ऑल नमस्कार चैप्टर एटीन मोक्ष संन्यास योग और द योग ऑफ रिलीज बाय रिनाउंसिएशन कार्य मित्यव यम नियत क्रियतेर्जुन संगन त्यक्वा फल सत्याग सात्विको मत इट्स नाउ टाइम टू एनालाइज आर रिनाउंसिएशन आर एक्शन through the lens of the three gunas this is quite interesting to note so let's get started one exercises a satvik disposition in terms of renunciation when one carries on with one's duties without expecting any fruits in return shri krishna's advice is straightforward begin with your internal detachment giving up on the demands of your sense objects then comes the renunciation from the external factors in fact working on your internal renunciation you'll anyway work towards this external renunciation it all goes hand in hand if you follow through well a person who is able to practice renunciation is someone who has found an internal balance these are people who don't actively seek work that will make them feel good or fulfill their sensory desires these are people who take on and complete a given task because it's bestowed upon them not just this but they also stay composed in the midst of crisis seek out the correct action for an issue and all the while maintain on completing the task at hand achieving this kind of internal stability is not easy they have such high levels of detachment that you won't find them emotionally entangled it's not like they don't have any emotions they just know how to not let their emotions control them and this is something you can do too don't breed on the outcome of the action just focus on putting your best foot forward things will and usually do have a way to figure out keep the belief in yourself and not in the things around you if you really want to make the most of your actions shri krishna tells arjun to give up on the desire of the fruits of your action perform the task keeping in mind a neutral approach think of it as a duty you are to do keep your personal motives aside and things might look brighter to you We keep speaking about actions and therefore we need to understand what they mean. There is a philosophy, the Sankhya philosophy that can clarify this for us. It's called Sankhya because as we discussed in the second adhyay, Sankhya is complete analytical knowledge. There is a logical explanation to it. Your residence is your body. That is where your conscience, your soul lives. the soul inspires your body to take action this along with your senses will help you perform the actions now you also need to put in efforts when performing any task at hand only then will all of this actually make sense add to that shri krishna says that the divine presence that rests in each one of us also aids us to take the action thereby resulting in special abilities based on our past and current karmas the action we perform could be either with the body called sharira or with our speech called vachik or even with our mind called manasik our ego makes us believe that it is us who makes all of this possible we alone are responsible for this great outcome but in the second adhyay shri krishna mentions to give up on the pride when working because we alone cannot be responsible for everything that happens around us working in a way where you are unattached with no false sense of pride one is freed from karmic reactions and isn't this what we all want dhanyawad <laughs>